globally it's fair to say that this is the most anticipated track race here so will he be successful and then arguably the best ever or will he be the best never to win the 1500 gee four minutes can make a big difference in a person's life Away, and El Garouge tucks in, Songok out quickly, Kiptanui looked across, Laggett, El Garouge a long way out back, he comes off the rail, Songok leads, Estevez, Heshko, Kiptanui, and El Garouge moving around, Laggett up in front of him early, El Garouge working hard early, he's around the outside, and now they jam up, will he go right round them and go to the front? At the moment he doesn't, Winder moves outside Sogot. El Garouge is about five wide here, he's very wide as they slow right up, Leggett's on the inside, and El Garouge is content. He's hanging about now. Kayush behind him. So they've slowed up. Leggett in the center, Kiptanui, and then Songok. And they've got El Garouge wide with Windamu in front of him and Heshku on his inside. Well, 344 is the pace at the moment. And one of our questions has been answered. Kayush is not doing the pace making at the moment for El Garouge, and the Kenyans are running together. And that's no surprise. Songok leads. So they've done a lap in 60 seconds. That's pedestrian, all right. Kiptanui, Laggett, Windamu, El Garouge fifth. Here comes Estevez, the big Spaniard. So Laggett, the favourite, gets through on the inside. They leave some room for him, the Kenyans. And again, he goes through and drives through on Kiptanui. El Garouge, good move. Very good move. Now he needs some breathing space. He wants to put Laggett in a pocket here, I think. Estevez hasn't quite done the job. It's slow, so the... Wide running of El Garouge at this stage won't be hurting him. Laggett on the inside. Estevez the centre. And then El Garouge. Songok. Heshko. Windamu. Leafers. Bulafane. Now El Garouge. Now the best bet for him is to wind it up from about 700. The race is about to start. He's got the confidence to go to the front. Leads Laggett. Estevez. Windamu. Heshko. Bulafane, the other Kenyans are out the back suddenly. Well, this is a situation that Hisham El Garouge knows. It's what he did in Sydney. It's what he's done every time he's broken a world record. And the pace is still pretty comfortable. So for Hisham El Garouge, he just wants to stroll around at this pace and continually wind it up from once he gets into the straight and then go for home once he gets into the last 200. So Laggett's on his own now. The Kenyans, I don't think, can help him. El Garouge from the front. Laggett Windamu, the teenager from Ethiopia, the best of Africa, Morocco, Kenya, Ethiopia, Heshko, Estevez, Bulafane, and then Kiptanui. One more lap to go in the final of the 1500. It's what we dreamed about, the Moroccan and the Kenyan. And wind it up he does. He's just off the rail, isn't he? Just off the plinth. 300 out. Laggett sits. Hesh goes third, and then Estevez and Silva's running on behind them. El Garouge leads by a metre. Laggett's close. Hesh go and then Silva. Kenny, hang on. Laggett to attack. Does Hisham have one last kick? Can he go from champion to legend? Or has Laggett got him? Or could Silva catch both of them? El Garouge tackle. Laggett goes up and takes the lead. El Garouge can't quite hold him. Laggett's in front, but he's coming back, the champ. El Garouge is coming back. He is a legend. How sweet it is. He goes from the greatest never to the best of all time. The tears again tonight, but they're different from Sydney. 